Hello and welcome again to the Allegro customer webcast. My name is Klaus Degner and I will speak today about the following few items in our uh, webcast today, which is about the new Allegro Wiki. It's one of the topics today. And then I've selected two new pages in our Wiki where I just would like to walk through and explain you how you can optimize the performance settings on the Allegro and how you can do Skype debugging. Part two, this is where I need my big Allegro right now. I would like to show you a little bit about performance optimization. And um, so let's go back to the live traffic in our web interface. And here we go to the dashboard. And we have here an Allegro 3300 with um, a dual port 100 gig card. And what I would like to show you today is the, um, the basic settings which are documented in the wiki, how you can optimize the performance of the Allegro. Um, the Allegro itself has a few counters you can track to see if everything is okay or not with analytics. So to explain you a little bit more the setup of the Allegro, I will start now my traffic generator with a little bit traffic. Just let me do that in parallel here on my second screen. So what I will do right now, I've started um, a traffic generator and I will generate uh, in total 40 gigabit of traffic. And so we see now, yes, close to 40 gigabit, so 39, 38 gigabit traffic. And this is now received by the Allegro. Now there are a few counters. If you would like to see if everything is okay, there are a few counters we can look at. Number one is the interface statistics, which tell you, okay, how many packets do we receive right now, which are 2.5 million per direction. So we're processing 5 million packets per second. And at startup, we drop a few packets, which is always the case if we have to, if the traffic starts from zero, going up very high in a very short time frame. And the Alejo has to learn a lot of connections. So right now, this Alejo processes um, 40 gigabit traffic. And if you look at system information, we are right now at 60% load. And well, we learned um, up to now 9 million connections and we learned 200,000, 300,000 connections per second. And we have something like 65,000 active IP addresses. So if we go now here and remove Skype, we see here, go to the graph, for example, to bits. We see, well, a lot of synthetic generated traffic from many, many, many IP addresses. And so now the Allegro is processing, um, well, 40 gig, which is designed for, and um, we can see that. So what will happen with the Allegro if we put that now into an overload? And that is what I can do here. Um, let me just put a little bit more traffic to it. So our current traffic generator can generate up to roughly 100 gigabit. And once we do that, we, we go to the interface statistics and we see, yes, we receive some traffic, but we drop a lot of traffic. And we have errors on the Rx side, which means, oh, the Aleco traffic receives on the network card, but the network card is too slow to send it at the end to the host. So we had to improve that counter. Number two, our software right now is too slow to process all the packets. So let me show you, if we go to system information, to the load right now, we see, okay, our receiving thread, which is the IO thread, is fully loaded, and all the analyzers are fully loaded. So number one, what we could do in this case is, um, very simple, let me stop the traffic. We could tell the analyzers first, 
Um, in the detailed processing, no, we please do only capturing. Don't process anything. And now I have to save the setting and restart the processing. So, so once the processing is restarted, we can see if now the analyzers um, can process that traffic. So what will happen? Of course, if we disable the processing, we only get very generic ways to capture traffic and of course our system info page. So let me restart right now the, the 100 gig traffic. And so which will start now. And now again, we will see at the interface stats, okay, the not processed is gone. So it could do a lot more right now, but of course the interface is overloaded. Also, if we go now to the system info page and we go at the load details, um, we could see, oh, our IO is still overloaded, but well, the load on the analyzers now went from 100% to 6%. And um, OK, so how can we solve that problem with the IO threads? And this is also very simple that for our high-end network cards and for the so appliances starting at the Aleco 3000, um, we can go to global settings, expert settings. And we have here um, the, a value where we can improve the network performance. So if we would enable that to be four threads, not one thread, and then we disable, for example, hyperthreading also, which is, brings also a little bit more performance. We have to save that. Um, then the Allegro will have a little bit less analyzers. So we can't, we remove some of the CPUs for doing processing on the packets, but we give the network cards the ability to process more traffic. And now we can start, for example, again, the replaying 95 gigabit, which is a layer 7 emulated traffic. And now we see here already that we receive these 100 gig traffic. If you go now to the interface stats, we had a very small miss at the beginning. And if you go now to the system info, we see, OK, we have something like 40% load. We have multiple IO threads. And we can process now the traffic. And the analyzers, of course, they get no more traffic. They can hold that. And well, we are speaking here right now of a packet rate of twice 6.6 .6 million packets. So that is quite a lot of packets per second. Um, I'm unfortunately, right now, our traffic generator is limited at 100 gig. So I can't show more, but that will that's an internal part on our side. We will enhance. OK, last but not least, well, what happens if you would like to capture now that data on a ring buffer? So I have in that Aleco right now a test SSD, so a U2 test SSD. And let me create a ring buffer on that. And well, what we will see right now is that without any filter rules, we will receive a lot of traffic, which is captured, but we will also see a lot of traffic, which is not captured because it's just too much data, these 100 gigabit. So what you could do here right now is you could easily say, OK, let's put a very simple rule. Let's start with something like 10 byte data. And we create a simple rule, which tells us all packet will capture the first 10 byte of layer 7. And well, now it's working on the U2 disk with 800 megabytes per second, so which is six, seven gigabit capture rate. And we could even, I think it, it works up to 200 bytes, which is then quite a lot of traffic. And what we will see with 200 bytes is now we write something like 2.3 gigabyte per second. So we have a 100 gigabit capture box where we store all packets up to the first byte and um, where we could easily well, 
let me just do that and say, okay, let's capture some packets and do a WebShark preview. And now we see just a few packets. What is our synthetic traffic here? What we simulate. And uh, I can easily look now back in time and do capturing on uh, 100 gig link. Um, there are a lot more values you can optimize on the Allegro. Maybe, well, so this reading this page is very helpful if you really have high load and you would like to optimize more. Giving you um, just the very easiest parameter which you can optimize is um, please run the Allegro in sync mode. So the Allegro only receives the traffic and do not put it in line. That will bring you already a lot of performance. Um, one other thing I would like to mention, if it comes to performance optimization, we have seen in networks an effect which happens on high-end networks uh, above 10 gigabits, so with 40 gig, is that networks have very little traffic or almost no traffic. And if then very short peak for one connection with 40 gig load is received by the Allegro, um, the Allegro on and off has dropped a few packets. And for that mode, that will be part of the next release. We, we are testing right now with a few customers what we call a queue over commit. So that the Allegro is enabled to buffer a lot more packets for a very short time to just buffer these queues. This mode helps us a lot to save power on the Allegro because of course the Allegro tries to sleep as much to reduce the power usage. And uh, well, this Allegro, uh, if we run it on full load, it will take maybe 200, 300 watts. If we have no load, it would take 50 watts. So the power difference is very high. And we, of course, try to minimize the power uh, envelope. Uh, and this mode helps a lot that very, very sudden bursts of connections can be processed. OK, I strongly recommend go to the new wiki, see these pages, and see what it helps. And I'm also very happy to get feedback if there are installations where you have used the Aleco and you think that's very helpful for everyone else. I would be very happy to add this to our new wiki, and we will constantly improve this.